Hello, this is Mr. Agbamu Idano Grenen. I'm here to show you a video of how you can demonstrate a simple mechanism analysis of a, a four bar link. So, before I start using my GeoGebra Classic software, let me import the image that is a picture of the mechanism I'm talking about so that you can understand what I'm saying. So, this is it here. Okay. Let me reduce this so that you can view it well. Okay, so this is the four bar link I'm talking about. So I got this picture from Theory of Machine textbook. The author is R.S. Kumi. So this is the four bar link mechanism. So this is AB. The AB is the main driving link. So as AB rotates, it takes power to BC then bc is as a connecting rod connecting uh, c d to a b so as a b rotate it connect to bc then bc now take the power to c d so the main aim of this mechanism is that as a b go through 360 degree rotation then c d should be oscillating to and fro like this so let me demonstrate it here so that you can understand it better so to start it's very easy we start with the length of AB so we are only starting with a circle so click on your circle center let me take my center to be here so let me use radius of 2 okay all right then let me locate my point B on the circumference of the circle so get this I'll put it somewhere here that's B so if you want to label all these points so it's very easy just click on the center point you come here remove hidden put the name so this one came out as c click on this point you come here put the name it came out as d if i want to change it to the actual label all i just need to do is to rename it so i'm renaming this one to b okay then this i'm renaming this just right click it I'm renaming it to A. Very simple as that. Okay, so this is my point A and B. Alright, then you can click and move it around, you see. So this is my main power. So that is that. Then D is also a point fixed on the ground, on this horizontal ground here. So to maintain the same horizontal ground, let me take my straight line. Take this point let me take it to okay, let me put it somewhere here so i want this point to be my point d all right very simple just click on this remove hidden put the name then rename it right click click on rename i want it to be labeled as d type your letter d and okay then bring it down just click and drag all right then the next thing is I need this radius of this now which is in D, C, D. So please take I'm not using the dimension here. So I'm not using this dimension, but I used two here. I used A, B, I used two dimension. If you follow the dimension, you will get the same answer. So I need the circle also on this point. And this one is longer than the previous one so if I use 2 in AB let me use let me say okay let me use 3 in this one okay or let's say 3.5 let me use 3.5 that's my length so you can see the circle is bigger than this then I need point C also okay now so this is the most important area now where the mechanism is being done remember it is AB that rotates and controls the movement of C D. So how do I connect A B to control C D? So I need point C somewhere here. So I need another circle. But let the center of that circle be B. Then something of this length now. But let me also use three point five radius. Okay, see it's not touching somewhere here. So I need to undo this. Okay, let me get a bigger radius. Let's say, let me say five for example. 
okay so i think this should be okay for me but let me test it and see this is the point i'm looking for point of intersection here so if my b rotates yes it's going as i want no it went out i don't want it to go out i don't want it to go out so that is the beauty of following the dimension given in your question so i need to delete this one let me delete it okay. let me take a bigger radius let me take radius 8 okay i think radius 8 should be better so if i turn this yes uh, okay radius 8 is better so th that is all what i need now is the point of intersection so you click your intercept between this circle and this circle which is this point and the next thing is hide all the circles you don't need show object just right click and click on show object right click and click on show object let me hide this also right click and click on show object. i don't even need this straight line show object just right click and click on show object then connect all these points with your segment line from a to b b to c then c to d then let me label this point as right click rename call it c okay so my mechanism is complete let me play it now as you hold on b you take it around you can see that point c oscillates so this is the four bar mechanism so let me click c and click on three so that you can see the path of oscillation of point c then at point b just click it right click click on show click on animation so that you can watch it see the way it goes a simple four bar mechanism you can see it see that means as a b rotates b c connect to c as the connecting rod y c d oscillate so your aim of this mechanism is to oscillate c and d then y a b is the main power making the 360 rotation it goes so this is the mechanism i want you to see how it works so that you can demonstrate it to your student in your class as you teach so thank you for watching do have a nice day